In my latest video on YouTube, I was telling you that your goal in pool should be to not be dependent on an aiming system anymore at one point. And I'm going to teach you how you can actually achieve this. And I also have a very, very nice pro tip, um, how you can actually use your knowledge about the cue ball to aim your shots or to verify that you're aiming your shots properly. So a very, very advanced tip that I really like to use in some special scenarios on the table. It can really make the shot making part a whole lot easier if you're using that, that trick or that principle. So first of all, imagine you're a beginner, you want to learn this auto aim method. You basically have no other chance than to just go to the practice table and practice the shots over and over again. And yes, if you're using an aiming system at that point, it's fine. So for example, let's set up this shot. I actually used to do that when I was a beginner as well. So I set up this shot with a certain angle. Of course, I started with a straight angle and then I increased um, the angles every single time. So for example, when I was able to make that shot, consistently with a slow speed and the center ball. Then I actually went over to the next angle and just increased the angle a bit. And this is exactly what you have to do. And if at one point you start to have some trouble, for example, with this kind of shot, then aiming systems, of course, can help you because they will be a nice reference to actually um, verify or see how the shot approximately has to look. So if you're always hitting that shot, for example, into the long rail, then an aiming system can help, yes. So set it up, use any aiming system you want to, and then go down. And the most important thing when you're using that system, don't just play it blindly in and just rely 100% on the system. No, you also have to take um, the work when you're down to actually verify how this is feeling for you. If you have a feeling that this ball is still going too fat or too thin, or if you actually have the feeling that it's going into the heart of the pocket. I always tell you in pool, it's all about feel. And this is the same when you're using an aiming system. Use the system to, for example, find this aiming line with the cue ball and then verify if it looks nice for you and remember how it looks and how it feels. This is very important because as I mentioned in the video, your goal, your final goal should be to have that auto aim method where you can just rely on the visuals, on the image you're seeing in front of you with the alignment. And once you're happy with all those shots, so let's say playing it all the way to this cutting angle, then start over again and use left spin and then play the shot in with a medium speed or a soft speed with left spin and see what happens. And here you can see I still made that ball, but it actually was too thin. So this is where you have to understand the effects of side spin, the physics of side spin, because of course, with a soft speed and left spin, the cue ball will deviate a bit. The cue ball will actually put a bit of um, spin on the four ball, throw it a bit away from the pocket and all that stuff that is very important. So you have to understand the physics. And then once you're happy, you're playing all those shots, very important also, switch side, don't just play it from this one side, alternate between the sides, just mirror the cutting angle. This is very important that you're not just sharpening your cutting or shot making skills from one side, but from the other side, you have no idea because everyone has a weak and a strong side in pool when it comes to cutting. So now you played it with a soft speed and now just do the same with a hard speed. You start with left spin, with outside spin, with inside spin, playing it with a hard speed and you see now you're hitting the ball too fat. Of course, now you have to adjust differently completely to the other side compared to hitting it soft. So this is how you actually practice this and don't just practice this particular shot. I mean, this one is basically the same. It's the same cutting angle, but you just want to give yourself some different kind of shots, even though it's the same cutting angle, because for example, this one is the same exactly the same shot as this one, but you're just playing it from a different perspective into the side pocket. So this is also very important to give yourself a bit of variety. This is, this is a nice thing and a very important thing you have to do. Now, as I promised, a bit of a pro tip how I'm aiming certain shots or how I'm, how I'm using the cue ball uh, control to actually help seeing or feeling the right shot or how I have to make the shot. So let's say the ball is close to the rail and I want to make the four ball into here. So first of all, on difficult shots, I like to stand behind the ball, see the actual line the four ball needs to travel, then go behind the shot. And now very important, when I'm 
standing behind that ball and I'm seeing where I have to actually cut it. So I'm seeing everything happening in front of me. I'm not just seeing how the four ball drops into the pocket. I also see where the cue ball actually will go if I'm hitting the four ball perfect. So without any spin, I think the cue ball will probably go along this line without any spin. So when I'm now down on the shot and I'm visualizing and trying to verify that everything is right, I'm not just trying to get a feeling for, what the fo uh, for the four ball, where the four ball is going. I'm also trying to get a feeling for, uh, for where the cue ball is going. So here in that case, I have the feeling that the cue ball is not hitting here, but hitting more here, which means I'm probably going to cut it too thick. So let's see if this is actually true. So I'm probably going to miss fat. Yes, I did. And the cue ball didn't hit here, but it actually went more to the right. So what I'm doing is I'm actually using my expectation of the cue ball, which is at my stage pretty accurate. And if you have a good knowledge about the cue ball, you can actually use that as, as well. So once again, let's set up the shot. I think without any spin, it should go towards here. So I'm going down, trying to verify that it feels right. And now you can see the cue ball exactly goes towards that point that I visualized. And of course, this is very often uh, useful if the ball is close to the rail because then it's actually easier to see um, the line of the cue ball right away. But what it can also help you with is, for example, on those shots into the side pocket when I'm having this shot and I want to play it, let's say, with a stop shot or touch of low, touch of right, then the cue ball, of course, should follow the tangent line if I'm hitting it harder. So when I'm aiming the shot, I'm just trying to also verify if the cue ball will actually travel along the tangent line. So here I have the feeling that the tangent line is probably going towards here, which means that I'm probably going to aim to full. So once again, here you can use both ways to actually verify if you're aiming right. And as I just mentioned, the tangent line or the cue ball went right away into that direction. So of course, don't do this all the time. It's just another nice reference or another, another nice way to actually help you find the right aiming, not the right aiming point, but the right aiming line. Very important, you just want to send the cue ball along a line, you want to send the seven ball along a line, you don't just want to aim to a specific point on the seven ball. And if you then have the feeling that the cue ball is probably going to travel along the right tangent line, and the seven ball is going to travel along the li right line. This lesson was a bonus video that usually isn't available on YouTube, but only on Patreon. And if you want to get instant access to every other video, then head over to Patreon right now and subscribe. And don't worry, you can cancel at any time if you don't like it. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, see you at the next lesson. Take care.